So I guess to start off our vlogs, we'll just tell you a little bit of the backstory and how we got here. So we were, um, our landlord told us we had to get out of our condo. He wanted to, I guess, take advantage of the market and sell it, and we didn't want to buy it. And so we realized we had three months to basically either to, just to get out of it. We didn't know what we were going to do. We both have um, kind of, we're working from home right now, and so we didn't really specifically have to stay in Michigan. So we were back at this family reunion. We were asking them, like, hey, where would you want to live? Because we were just basically looking anywhere on the map. Where should we go live? Um, we really loved Michigan. Um, I'd be more than happy to buy a house and stay there forever. Um, uh, we both had moved from Utah, but we were like, well, if we love Michigan so much, and if you just ask anybody, it really doesn't have a good rep, um, especially if you're not from there. Uh, so we were like, oh, well, let's move down to, uh, we were thinking Virginia Beach or uh, Myrtle Beach down in South Carolina. Um, but it's like, okay, <clears throat> we're, we're looking at houses there, um, found a couple we might like, but it's like, well, you know, what if we actually don't love it there and, and we kind of hate it because Jamie's been talking about, oh, it'll be fun to move to the south. And it's like, well, that sounds great, except for I don't do that well in the heat and it's always hot down south. I don't think she'd love it as much as she thinks. She really hates bugs, and if there's one thing the South has is, <laughs> I mean, everything's bigger in Texas. Um, <laughs> so, uh, so we're trying to figure out where to move. We never even really visited. We never even been to South Carolina. We like drove through Virginia one time, but I'd be like, I don't know. Let's look at houses there. Maybe that'd be cool. But then we were at this um, uh, camp out with my family, and that's how I think that's how we started this story. Yeah, he was like. Let's, he was like, and if I were in your position, didn't have kids, and I could move around with the job that I ha that you have, I'd go get a bunch of <laughs> one-month temporary leases. And um, I was like, well, that does sound cool to go around, but I loathe the thought of moving that many times, just one month dealing with all those contracts. Well, and so, just actually moving all your stuff. Yeah, just that moving. <laughs> I mean, even if you brought less, it just doesn't sound cool. Mm -hmm. But the idea of moving around like that does. So, I mean, we just kind of molded it over, but initially said, yeah, that sounds fun, but in... It sounds like the worst part of moving. Yeah, it sounds the like worst the worst part, part of every month. <laughs> the worst part in every month. So, I don't know, we just molded around, and we decided we wanted to get a an RV, and we thought, well, if we're going to do this, it's, I mean, because obviously we're not going to do it forever, let's put all our stuff in storage and let's just go live where we think we'd want to live for maybe a month or two but not deal with the worst part about moving so we decided we were going to get an rv and we there looked around is. all over and <laughs> yeah there it is it's a 2012 thor challenger so we you know we went i feel like we went smart we got a really nice motor home um but it's about five years old so most of the depreciation it's already hit um, we think has we already <laughs> hit and we hope uh so you know we paid a pretty modest fare and then hopefully once we're done with the trip somewhere around a year um or however long <laughs> yeah yeah uh, we've kind of just decided up until it's no longer fun yeah that's our timeline just do it for as long as it's fun for as long as it's fun you know we're hoping that once we sell it we're not going to get too hurt you know assuming we don't damage it i'm not too worried that i will i i tend to like to fix everything that i buy um you know since we have two older cars that we did put in storage the honda has a 283 and the truck has almost 200,000. So I don't like to drive anything that I don't really want to, or I don't drive it in a scenario where it might break because I don't want to fix it. And I think growing up with the slow truck that I had, I'm, I'm not a speed demon by any ways. And, and I'm good always, luck being a speed demon in that anyways. <laughs> I mean, it'll go fast, but yeah, it's not really that fun. It's kind of like an earthquake when you're going real quick. <laughs> Just... And most of it's really fun. Our favorite speed is probably between somewhere like between 30 and 50 miles mm -hmm. an hour. So, um, so our so we left Michigan. We we're heading through down through Indiana, and we're it, it's uh, what 10 days into November right now, and we're trying to be back to Utah to visit family and take care of a couple things by um, like the middle of December. So we're looking at just over a month before we need to get back to Utah. We already feel like. We're, we're not, I mean, we're, we're one state time. away. We're making <laughs> yeah. terrible time. We, but that's I mean, okay. We'd li I'd driven through on the freeways. They call Indianapolis, what is it, the the crossroads state oh, or yeah. something like that? Yep, it is a crossroads And I'd state. really only ever done it as a crossroads. We didn't see the beauty, but we're like, 
six or seven days into Indiana. um, And still loving it. And still love it. Like right now we're actually in the Hoosier um, National Forest. National Forest just went uh, waterfall chasing yesterday. Mm -hmm. We went and saw some caves. But I don't know, that's what we're up to. I don't know how much we'll do these um, video logs, but I don't know. I don't, I don't think we're trying to get rich off or anything. More or less, just for us later. Maybe um, if there's kids down the road yeah. or just our families back forth. But and there's a few. I mean, there's a few people that have said they'd like to follow along. So we're not promising any <laughs> awesome quality footage or any just. I don't know. Maybe we're boring. I don't know. But we're gonna maybe put some vlogs on, and you guys can come along our little journey with us. We think it's pretty fun so far. We've not run into any huge obstacles. Um, so we're gonna. Like I said, we're cutting down, I think, to Arkansas right now. Then we'll head west. And then after Christmas, and then we've got a wedding in Utah in January. Darren's brother's getting married. So then after that, I think we'll head south um, and kind of just keep going down from there for whoever knows how long, I guess. Um, so that's our plan. Um, I guess we don't know a lot right now what we don't know. This is just, we've only been doing it. When did we leave? Do you remember? It was, a, uh, it was like it Saturday two weeks? Are we almost two weeks in? Yeah, Saturday is two weeks. Or Sunday. Yeah, Saturday. Yeah, Saturday be two weeks. And it's today is Saturday. Oh, so it is two weeks. Yeah, two weeks today. So we. Oh, yeah. So we've been doing it exactly. T- wow, we've really not got two weeks. No, <laughs> I can't believe we're like not as far as we are, and it's been two weeks. That's really crazy. Um. Anyway, so I guess it's been two weeks. So we don't know everything. We've stayed. No, in it's a, only been a or week. Or is it one week? One week. Yeah, that, okay, yeah, yeah. I know, because I'm like, there's no way. Okay, one week. <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah, yeah one yeah, week, yeah. yeah cause oh, yeah, because it's only like the 10th, too, and we moved out like a few days. Okay, so one week. Today's officially a one week, and we've stayed at a campground once? Or one twice? night, one night. Is it just one night? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I guess it is. Um, yeah, we've only stayed at one one night. We don't think we'll stay at them like every night, for sure. We've been just boondocking mostly. We think we'll boondock probably a lot of it, and then just like as we need to dump or fill up water just whenever we'll stay at a campground that's kind of what we've been doing so far and liking it um if you drive often the batteries stay up mm-hmm. and then we tend to kick on the generator for an hour or two at least once a day sometimes mm-hmm. twice but we haven't really found that the that power's really been to. an issue yeah um it's fully equipped with showers and you know we're not missing out there's hot water heater there's a furnace in there um, it's just really like a little apartment <laughs> Is what it kind of feels like. Yeah. And we're enjoying, I guess, so far we've stopped at, like, some cider mills and things like that. We love doing stuff like that. Oh, the other thing I just remembered I was going to say, too, is we are doing our best to stay off of the freeways. So I think we took a freeway for a minute just while we were trying to kind of leave Detroit in that. But now we're trying to just totally stay off them. I guess we did have to get on one in Indianapolis because we're trying to make it to the airport kind of quick. Well, we're going to hop on, but you know, just for a little bit to. here and there. But, I mean... For the, most the whole just, world, the, I don't know, the U.S., I mean, it does look different, but you really get into the, you know, the beauty of the country once you're off of the interstate, so that's kind of our plan. So we have our GPS set to avoid, um, avoid the freeways, avoid the freeways, so that's what we're up to. So tonight we're hoping to make it to the bottom, At least bottom hopefully. west <laughs> part of, uh, Indiana and then maybe uh, parsley into Kentucky tonight so mm-hmm. we'll see okay so you guys can follow along if you want to um, and I guess that's all we have for now thank you for watching okay we're truly pulling out right now the last time out of our complex and now we're trying to figure out where to go stay for the very first night and it's good probably gonna be where? Walmart or Home Depot? Walmart or Home Depot? Probably Wally World. Yeah, we'll go to Walmart. <laughs> For the big first night. <laughs> what do you think? Do you want to hit the road or do you want to go stay? What time is it? If we're going to hit the road... 9-11. Oh, it's so late. I mean, it's not late, I just am hungry. So if we're gonna hit the road, then let's. Huh? Let's go to the temple. Okay, so we'll stay close tonight and go to the temple, the Detroit temple, one last time tomorrow morning. And I guess if we're gonna stay close, then I'll just make dinner in here once we get parked. 
Here we go. I'm pulling out. Can't believe it. It's weird to be leaving our Michigan home for the last time, huh? And it's weird that like we can just go anywhere tonight and we don't have to, to like be back here. We can just drive away from here, you know, and just we'll be home wherever we go. But like you said, what did you say the other day? As long as we got each other and a few of our favorite things, we'll be okay. <laughs> right? Show, show. We got three birdies coming too. I'll show you them tomorrow when it's light. All right, we're staying at this Walmart <laughs> for our first night and it's conveniently right by one of our favorite Thai places. So we better just hit that one last time too, so since we're close. And we found a semi right there, which means we should probably just park by him. Cause I'll bet he's in there sleeping. So this is literally day one, I guess. It's pretty late, but it's like maybe night one. We're gonna go grab a little bit of Thai food for our last time at that place. Look at this beautiful road. We're still in Michigan, but we just found this fun little back road. Should I turn right there or keep going? And we just thought it was pretty though. This is like it's super cool. This is a fun time of year to come through here. It's what? I know, it's beautiful. I hope this is capturing it. I think we're gonna try and boondock around here somewhere. These beautiful trees. Where does that lead to? Is that someone's build or something? highest quality diamond with an ideal cut. The fire and brilliance of a Shane Classic party. Diamond is yeah. exceptionally rare. In fact, less than 1% of the, the world's diamonds can meet these standards of perfect proportion, the symmetry, out. and polish. We use only the most talented stone cutters to create the it's highest nice quality stuff. diamonds, rubies, and sapphires for the most discriminating taste. Now you have a friend in the jewelry business, Shane Company and Shaneco.com. What? There was no address. No address? Shane Company, corner of State Street, 7200 South. Open weekdays until late. And they didn't even have hours. Online at Shaneco.com. Okay, we just went through Plainsfield, Indiana, and we saw this little Chandler's farm. And we love to stop at these. Fillmore. Oh, we're in Fillmore. And we love to stop and try their cider and just see what they have. So we got some cider. Uh, this is like our some... first real attempt at free range eggs. Yeah, Generally, some farm fresh like eggs. White, white, you know, I guess Walmart your parents eggs. have them now, but yeah, we don't know. Sure. Yeah, they look like really good. Let's see how eggs are tomorrow morning. Mm -hmm. <coughs> we need to polish off the cider from last time. Probably get one out from Fort Wayne. We got us some toasted corn and a couple of little homemade chocolate type things, caramel and a toffee. I love stopping at these little local places. So we today's um, November. Is it the tenth? Yep, Friday, November 10th. So we were in, um, we had to go to New Jersey. Darren had some work meetings he had to go to, so we took a couple days out of the RV trip and went there. But now we're back and we're ready to hit the road. We're going to head down and see some waterfalls in Indiana, and then we're going to eventually make our way down to Arkansas. It's kind of our next stop. So that's our plans. Indiana so far is beautiful. And we'll check in with you later. Okay, we are in Indiana, seeing the first waterfall. This one is called Cataract Falls, I'm pretty sure. There was this one, and then we're gonna see one other one. But this was the first one on the way. They sound pretty, I love that sound of waterfalls. And look how beautiful, hopefully the camera is doing the color justice. It's so pretty outside. Oh, they're pretty. They're really pretty. 
it's freezing out here right now. It's like 33 degrees, even though it doesn't look good. It's super cold. There's a little closer up view of the waterfalls. That looks fun, like in summertime, to go and sit on that rock and like wait around and all. Doesn't that look like that would be fun? Indiana's really been pretty. It's like big elbows out. Are these the uppers? Huh? Are these the uppers? These are lowers. Oh, this is the lowers? They're pretty, huh? Oh, no, no. These are the uppers. Let's see what's going on over there. With that other viewing area? Are you still on the phone? Look at that pretty little trail up there. That, oh, I dropped my phone. Oh, here's a way better view. Oh, look how cool. That's beautiful. Wouldn't that be so fun to go and play around in in summer? But it says no swimming, didn't it? It's a beautiful waterfall. Yeah, it is. Really pretty. It's a beautiful man right there, too. Huh? <laughs> so that's a beautiful man right there. Throw my phone away after how cool your wide angle is. I know. <laughs> the wide angle. I have the Samsung. What about the S? Oh, the G6. The LG G6. And it has this wide angle camera view, and it's amazing. In fact, maybe I can show you because it's on wide view right now, and that's normal view. Isn't that cool? In wide view, you can get so much in it. And even on like selfies, it does way better selfies because it like takes it from further away, except it makes your arms look like they're 50 feet long. <laughs> but yeah, it is cool. Cataract Falls. Always prepared with a Slim Jim on hand. Oh, I'm all out of breath now. Because <laughs> we just were running. So now that we're on the road, we just have to get our workouts in wherever we can find them. The other day we were lunging into Walmart. <laughs> and this girl inside Walmart is like, is that you who's exercising outside of Walmart? <laughs> I'm like, yeah. She's like, that was so funny. I'm like, well, we're living in an RV, so we had to cancel our gym membership. So now we just got to work out whenever. She thought it was pretty funny, though. Okay, which falls are these? <laughs> Lower falls. Lower falls. Proud of us. We're on a, a run instead of hopping back in the rig and driving over. Always more tempting to get back in the RV. <laughs> oh look, I bet I bet that's that little tr that little path. Let's take that back. Is there a path? Yeah, remember I was showing it to you. Shows me how good you listen. I never wanted to jump right off. Do it. Huh? Do it. Look how deep it was. That'd be brisk. That'd be so cold. You would do it. You're cold blooded. Look at how beautiful. I'm about the least sure-footed person. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! I just freaking about died watching you do that. Oh my gosh, you crazy! 
I hope that was caught really well. That scared me so bad. Oh, <laughs> you didn't even think twice about that. And your phone, what? Oh my. Huh? Now you see fish? Here, hold this while I get down. If that was deep, this would be so fun to jump off of. I bet you people do. It's not that deep. But like, look at all that over there. That's still recording. Yeah. To show how great that is over that wall. It's awesome. This is so cool. That's beautiful. Where'd all those fishies go? They were like right down there on top over that rock. There's like a hundred oh, little fish. It was like infinity. Oh, look. There's like a billion of them right there. Ooh, you see? There's actually a bigger one behind. Oh, yeah, I do see them. This is making me so nervous. <laughs> do you see the Vigid? Do it to more of them. Ooh, that's a big one. Whoa. Oh, no. Stuck my foot in water. Bash it hard. <laughs> Sweet bash. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? What? Hardcore? Parkour? Do more of it. <laughs> Go parkour off those rocks. <laughs> Sweet ones. Hey. Here at McCormick Falls in McCormick State Park, Indiana. Super pretty. Columns and stuff never do depth justice, you know, of like how. How, um, just like how deep or whatever, shallow oh, something is. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, so there's the waterfall. This is kind of a similar, like, that's so pretty. This is similar rocks and stuff to that last place that we were at, huh? Mm hmm Well, how it's like in layers like that, I think that's so... Here. It's really chilly here. But maybe it's because we started off like with a run on the other one. These are cute little stairs and stuff. This is pretty. There's like a little cave over there. Oh, that's cool. You want to walk over? Uh, more, it's more just like a hole. Oh, that's cool. Wow, I had no idea that Indiana was so beautiful. I thought it was going to be a lot more flat like Michigan is. And a lot of it is really, really flat. But yeah, there's like a lot more hills and stuff like this than Michigan ever had. It's really beautiful. But we kind of do search for waterfalls too. But we're trying to avoid on our, just our whole trip in general, we're trying to avoid the freeways, and so we just take back roads and like highways and stuff like that. And so you see all kinds of cool, just really beautiful places. This is cool. How did you get over there? That rock that's partially, like it's just kind of up. Oh. I'm so nervous about this. Those shoes have the 
biggest like heels on them. You can like sink them. What? What do you mean the biggest heels? The bottom. Oh, oh, how do I just still get them wet? Soaked. That is so beautiful. Look at me, I'll take your picture. One, two, three. This is so cool up close, isn't that beautiful? This is awesome. Can you come help me? Hey! Oh, really? Sounds like you didn't hear me. I know it is pretty loud. I'll give him the benefit of the doubt. Oh, got it. That is so cool. Thank you.